morning, everyone. So my name is Yoshinori Matsunobu. So I'm a SRE at Facebook. Um, and I'm also a fan, uh, one of the founding member of starting the MyRox project. So today I'm going to talk about the MyRox overview and uh, how we use MyRox <coughs> at Facebook and what we are planning to change. So yeah, MySQL at Facebook and the database migration uh, from InnoDB to MyRox and uh, development roadmaps. So first, uh, let me talk about uh, our main MySQL database called UDB, which is a uh, user's database uh, that stores all Facebook activities. Like, for example, if you like or comment or share so, uh, on Facebook, so all of these activities are stored in MySQL database, so which is a very critical database. And uh, apparently, single MySQL database is not enough to handle uh, or uh, more than one million users, but was so we shared, so we uh, must be shared, must be database, and uh, we have huge cache uh, in front of my scale. So in most cases, the read request hit the cache, but when cache misses, uh, the read request going to directly to my scale database, and so if my scale is slow, then users will complain about Facebook, so which is a very problematic. So we made MySQL a lot faster to handle most workloads, both leads and writes. And we automate operations, so we don't run MySQL on cloud, so we uh, build our automation framework. For example, if MySQL thread dies, then automatically our automation tool uh, detects that and uh, re-images uh, the failed MySQL instances and uh, create and deploy that. <coughs> And if master dies, then automatically to fail over. And we run on the pure flash. So we used to run a hybrid disk and flash system called flash cache a couple of years ago. Uh, but now we run uh, pure flash storage. So this is relatively common for on flash storage. So it applies to the UDB as well. So we are almost constrained by space. So uh, space. Is, uh, concerned by space, and it doesn't use much CPU and IO resources. So uh, today I'm going to talk about MyRox. So MyRox is a project to use Rox structure merge database called RoxDB as a MySQL storage engine. So the integrating uh, RoxDB as a MySQL, in inside MySQL. So RoxDB itself is an embedded database. So to access RoxDB, you need to write C++ or Java code uh, to uh, open one access or close databases, so which is uh, hugely different from MySQL uh, database. So we uh, decided to create a uh, RoxDB as a MySQL engine. So by doing so, the users can access to RoxDB by the same SQL statements as in the DB. So uh, this takes two advantages. So LSM saves space compared to B3 index like in the baby. So it saves space and it still can use in the features. And we open sourced everything uh, about the uh, RoxDB and MyRox, as well as related tools like online backups. Yeah. So MyRox initial goal at Facebook was uh, reducing space. So this is a brief image of the uh, InnoDB UDB. So CP utilization and IO utilization are both uh, very small. But uh, the, it's completely space-bound, so it uses about 90% of the storage devices. So this means even though there are plenty of CPU and IO capacities, uh, we cannot add more data because it's constrained by space. So we wanted to change that. So with MyRox, so it uh, reduces the space by half compared to a compressed in -ready. So we use in -ready compression, but the, even with in -ready compression, it, it's completely space-bound. So by switching to MyRox, then space must be used by half without increasing CPU or IO very much. So by doing so, then it is uh, possible to add another instance to the same machine. So by doing so, then you, uh, you can technically reduce the number of servers by half, so you can as well as reduce the space by half, and uh, also you can reduce the number of servers by half. So this is a big deal 
at Facebook because our system is very large. So we started, uh, we created MyRox. Uh, we started the MyRox project about three years ago, and we uh, added many features to deploy in production at Facebook. And we started the migration project uh, since last uh, later last year. <coughs> so we created a lot of features, uh, the automations to make migration easier, like continuous data consistency check between InterDB and MyRox, and uh, sending a shadow uh, capture query uh, traffic by all the plugins, then sending the request to a MyRox or InterDB databases to see if the latency or errors regressed or not. And we deployed on slaves and deployed on masters. So first was creating a fast MyRox instance with a downtime. So we had a one inner master and four inner slaves in our main uh, UDB database and picked <coughs> one inner <coughs> instance, then started logical dump by MySQL dump, then restored in the MyRox database. So like a uh, uh, stop, stop thread and then dump and then load. So stopping one thread, as you know, the stopping one thread does not affect services because the request can be shifted to other LC threads. And after loading Pyrox, so we run the data consistency check we queries uh, for inner and Pyrox. So to see that to verify that data are consistent. Then to creating a second Pyrox instance. So creating a second Pyrox instance was easier because Pyrox already existed. So we created two <coughs> called MyRox hot backup, which is similar to extra backup to do a binary copy from a My one MyRox instance to another MyRox instance. So by uh, doing so, there are three in ready slaves and two uh, three in ready instances and two MyRox slaves. So the next step was promoting MyRox to master. So this was the hardest part because if master is prompted, then uh, Facebook is. Uh, available, so which is a very uh, serious part. So we did a very intensive test, so like uh, creating a shadow traffic test to sending the master, capturing the master queries in InterDB, then sending a test file instances, then seeing the, if data is fine or latency doesn't degrade. So after verifying these steps, then we promoted MyRox as a master. So after verifying MyRox is okay, then copy it everywhere, then we will so this was the final step. So our current production status is, so hopefully, so we uh, announced yesterday, but we completed the inner to MyRox migration in our main database. And we also saved 50% space in UDB compared to inner So now, so your Facebook activities like like or comment or shares, so all of these activities are served from our MyRox database. So this is a huge milestone for us, and hopefully we could save the 50 percent space. And we also uh, started working on migrating other uh, database tiers. So UDB is our biggest database tier, but this is not our only uh, database services. So I can say the exact project details right now, but we started working on migrating other databases to my so uh, we have several uh, development roadmaps right now, so I'd like to share some of them. So uh, UDB is completely space-bound, and if the database size is very small and most data fit in memory, the InnoDB uh, performs better than MyRox, uh, especially for read workloads. So we are trying to make MyRox better to match InnoDB, especially for read performance. And we started uh, evaluating MySQL 8. Uh, currently, we use MySQL 5.6 and Pelcon announced 5.7 support for MyRox. Uh, uh, our next target MySQL version will be 8.0. So, we started uh, evaluating uh, MySQL 8 and trying to uh, support MyRox in MySQL 8. And supporting uh, mixed engines is especially supporting InnoDB and MyRox within the same instance. So, currently, we run MyRox. Uh, for dedicated instance. So we run either InnoDB or MyRox for each instance, and we don't run the mixed engines in the same instance. <coughs> but sometimes, so especially so my, uh, InnoDB is better for, uh, kind of InnoDB is faster for uh, read workloads if data size is very small. 
So, I, uh, so we, uh, we got several requests from uh, uh, potential customers that uh, they want to use both InnoReady and Mylox in the same instance, and they're using InnoReady for small tables and they're using Mylox the, for the rest. So we are uh, trying to create that, uh, to support that, so reliably working on that, and uh, supporting crash recovery, so online backups as well. And the last part is supporting bigger small data. So bigger small data means, so supporting a much bigger instance size, <laughs> like uh, five terabytes or 10 terabytes, or uh, something like 30 or 50 terabytes, so <coughs> same instance. So if supporting a big, very big so instance, then uh, many applications can get benefits. For example, people don't have to worry about sharing applications, for example. So uh, we have very limited support for such huge data. Uh, so we are trying to make uh, support for such uh, bigger use cases. Yeah, so we have two Mylox sessions today. So one is a Mylox production deployment, so uh, details. So I'm going to talk about that uh, today at C uh, Speed 3 2. And uh, Mylox engineering, uh, the new feature and enhancements. So this is mostly the engineering point of view talk. So my colleagues, Manuel, will talk about this uh, today, the 535 year. So that's all. So thank you.